Nothing important on my phone. Uh, nothing important on my phone. Super nothing important on my phone. Ah, uh, we need damn it. Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the microphone out of here. Why? Because YouTube is like your face is right. Yeah, here. I tried to move it around, but there's not a happy spot. There's no happy spot. Why are people there's no happy spots? Did you get them all going? Yeah. Hold on, we're setting up. Just get grab your beer and just relax. Fist of five is let's do this. Hey yo. Fist of five. Fist of five. We're gonna have a conversation about those dudes. Not right away, but I think you fucked up, just so you know. Not so. Well, I said we're not talking about it right now, so when you say, how, how so? so, you're indicating you want to talk about it right now. Yeah. Anybody who was a kid in the early 70s, do you remember Super Chicken? Remember that little cartoon, when you think that you're in trouble and you need to hit up on the devil? When you think that you might take a licking? Buck, 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 buck. Scott, he's so clean. He's so clean, Ron. Uh, so Super Chicken was a regular chicken, and then he became Super Chicken when he had a secret sauce. So this is my secret sauce, and I'll become, what the fuck am I, super something? Super dad. Super dad, super dumbass, super ex-retired mechanic dumb in the desert. Give me a time, second. We got time out with Josh on uh, Instagram. Woo. All right. Josh says, I see you, and I will beat you at some game at some time. Never. Josh said what? Josh said, I see you. And I will beat you at some game at some time. Is she talking to him or me? Me. Because <laughs> I beat him at table hockey when we were in Oklahoma. Oh, it was yeah. 10 to 2. He's like a grown ass man and you whooped his ass. Yeah. You're lucky he didn't just reach around that table and stomp you. All right. So, uh, do your, hey, do your intro. Wait, Instagram. Let's make sure Wait, is everybody up? You running? do your thing first and then I do mine. My thing, your thing? Yeah. My thing first. Yeah. Then your thing. Yeah. You got to. A lot of participation awards in here going, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Is everybody framed right? Are we up and going? Yep. We're here. All right. YouTube, you're over there. TikTok, you guys are here. Instagram, my guys, you're on my side over here. Why? Because we're cool like that. YouTube's my side. TikTok is the weird in between. <laughs> just remember, that's a good description of TikTok. The weird in between. Hey, just so you remember, and I'll say this to you guys over there, but mainly to Instagram, we're over here because we're cool like that. All right? You can have all the money in the world. You can buy all the toys and things you want. But you can't buy cool. You either got it or you don't. And we got it. All right. So you want me to do my thing first, then your thing. Yeah. Hold on. We got a package. Hold on. Time out. UPS guy's coming up with a package. <laughs> UPS guy, you're fucking up our live stream, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Should put a sign up over here. That's right. Thanks, my man. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, you can. Next time. We'll catch you through. All right. A little awkward. It's all good. A little longer. Is that something you're whispering to me so they yeah. can't hear you? No. Well, say it loud where they can hear you. Project. It's a little awkward, you yeah. know. See, even with your cowboy boots, you are not as tall as me. Here, let me check out my cowboy boots. I can show you, they don't add that much height. <laughs> I, I literally, like you were stepping off a 4x4. Four four. Alright, so we start everything off the same way. And there's a reason for it. I'll tell you why in a minute. Ready? Yeah. I pledge allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America. I said, are you ready? You said, yeah. I said, are you ready? You said, yeah. I began. I'm pledging allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't you fucking forget it. You took your boots off to say the Pledge of Allegiance? No, I took my Is that like a new thing, a new trend with Gen Z? Everybody takes their boots off? Uh, yeah, so the reason we do that, one, you're supposed to, two, it's patriotic, um, because I'm an American, and it gets rid of liberals. I mean, all the fucking liberals that are looking for the panic button to scroll on and get out of this, just go. I got tattoos older than most of you anyway, so just get the fuck out of here. All right, turning it back over to yeah, the man of the hour. Yeah, me. Now it's time to officially start the live stream. Yeah. Do you ever wonder what a Gen X thinks? Welcome to Gen X Live. Gen X Talks Live. That was weak. What? I call bullshit. That's the bullshit bell. I All call right. bullshit. You <clears throat> can do better than that. Do you ever wonder what a Gen X thinks? Welcome to Gen X Live. 
Hey, now I'm convinced. There you go. Okay. I'm glad you are. So, hey, check it out. You know how you're always bitching about that you can't read anything I ever write on my notes? Because I can't. Printed oh, today. printed. Not spelled correctly, but printed. <laughs> and it's from a Gmail. Well, it's because I don't... You emailed it to yourself. Because I don't know how to print it off the computer, so I had to email it to mom and she printed it. Make, fucking make me look bad, man. Shut up. Okay, so usually we start off with previous winners of last week's trivia. It, that was a fucked up mess. It was a controversy. And, yeah. You want to tell them what it was, what the controversy was? Uh, wasn't it the Snoopy question? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so they said when Snoopy pretends to be a pilot, what pilot or what? what is, who is he trying to portray? Yeah, and I said the answer was Red Baron. And 500 people answered Red Baron. And then some dude smarter than all of us said, no, Snoopy was the ace. He was fighting the Red Baron. He was going after the Red Baron. And I thought, oh shit, they're probably right. So, I'm not sure what the fucking gig was on that, but we mailed out some of the winning stuff to the winners of the other questions that we knew, but we're withholding the names because we're going to add the names to the ones who won here. But who won? Did the Red Baron win because I said so? Or did the guy who's corrected, there was a couple, did they win? So, Gen X Mom's figuring that out. Chances are she's going to send something to everybody. Like the top two guys you got, Red Baron, and the top two people that corrected it. That's probably the way it's going to go. I got it. But that's why I can't read you a list of names right now. So, yeah, there you go. Big, flubbed up mess. That's how we usually roll. Oh, so something else that's come up too. I got this. Gen X mom's pushing me on this one. Uh, the kid has an FFA thing in Indiana, and it's like yeah. $1,000. Mm -hmm. And he's cashing in aluminum cans. He's mowing lawns. He's doing extra chores. He's earning the money to go. But he's, it's, it's, it's tough. It's expensive. So... All the stuff on the merchandise, if you guys uh, want to buy something, uh, his mother and I are giving him the money, all of it, not just the profit, the whole thing to try to get him enough money to go. Um, if you just want to Venmo him stuff, there's a Venmo thing to send. I don't even know what it is, but you could Venmo a couple bucks. Here. You could Venmo him five bucks if you wanted to. He's trying to earn his money to go. He's trying to get it up there. Um, anyway. It's also a PayPal. It's Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, all that. All the same name? Yeah. Oh. Gen X Talk. Okay, well, I didn't know. So anyway, if you buy something, also, there's a new item. There's a couple new things that are on the merchandise deal. You guys remember uh, baseball jerseys in the 80s, the 70s and 80s, that had like the three-quarter sleeve, like a white shirt, but a yellow sleeve or a blue sleeve? Gen X Mom found those and ordered a bunch of shirts. So now we got some retro 70s and 80s shirts that are fucking pretty cool. And I ordered... And they're on the, the picture and everything that's on it's on the website are candy asses, candy butts. And there's a cartoon picture of me and the kid, and it's Gen X Talks, it's Kiss My Ass, and it's a bag of, of candy, but they're, they're like candy cheeks, asses. And if you want to give them to somebody, then you give them, when you just don't know how to say fuck off, you can give them some uh, Gen X Kiss My Ass candy. Yes. And that's up on the website, but you got to go look. And where's the website? GenXTalks.com. If you haven't noticed by now, everything is Gen X Talks. Yeah, everything. Uh, we should bah, just bah, name bah, things bah. randomly, like random stuff. Oh, anything on oh. The, anything merchandise. That's the code for 10% off. You want me to say that? Are unless, you sure you you want, to, unless you want to keep it a secret. Just this. Just that. those three letters right there. We'll wait till later in the live stream. You have to come back. What if they're looking right now? Oh. You want to pay full price? So if they're on GenXTalks.com, are yeah. they on the live stream? Well, they have, they have mo they could be listening and the window's open. The window's open? They have to go outside to go to the internet? All right. The heck? Now you're fucking with me. What the heck is going on? The tr the promo code is FFA for his FFA event. You get like eight cents off or something. I don't know. Um, uh, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. You're on. So, one thing we've stra we strayed away from is thanking people for gifting. So, to get back to that... We're thanking people for sending gifts, and the top gifter, because we can see the top gifters at the end of the live stream, whoever the top gifter oh, is... the video ended on Instagram. Oh. <clears throat> you better run over there. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, I'll take out. an opportunity, whoever's there. Let's, we having a drink? I'd like a drink. Yeah. Yeah. We'll I, your people drink. went down. What's wrong with your people? Hey. What's wrong with Instagram? We fell down because we're drinking. No, you fell down. We've been drinking since noon. That's you not fucking good. leave Instagram alone. We're fine. Anybody drinking with me? Is anybody going to give me a raise a glass? Anybody? I mean, I will fucking drink alone. I've done it before. I don't give a shit. But it'd be better to drink with somebody. Where's Drunk Pappy? 
Isn't drunk Pappy out there? Isn't that motherfucker gonna drink with me? One glass? He's on TikTok. And something? Mm -hmm. Hey, Pappy. Come on, man. Just at least one. Come on, baby. One. Here we go. Do you have an extra pen? Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's dead. Let me go get a pen real fast. First 430 live stream going great. Yeah, it's not. So, yeah, I'm drinking Jack Daniels. And yes, this has got Coca-Cola in it. And yes, Gen X mom calls it my training wheels, because when I was younger, I used to just pound the Jack Daniels, and everything was good. Now i got to chase it with a Coke, and so she calls it training wheels, because I can't drink like I used to. Well, Gen X mom is wrong. She's got issues. She's been in therapy for years, and this is one of the reasons why, because she just says shit she shouldn't say. Okay. Why are you guys early today, people are asking? Uh, because we're cool. Uh, duh. That's your answer? Yeah. Tell them why. I'll let you take over. Go. Uh... I forgot, like, the main reason why. Well, what we did was we had a Gen X Talks company meeting on Sunday, and we decided all of our shit. Like, every Thursday, we're going to have a podcast post. Um, we're going to have um, we're gonna have a certain number of TikToks post. He wants to do, uh, what was it? Um, Tick oh, like the Friday, uh, Sunday, Sunday live stream at 4 and Wednesday at 4.30, twice a week. You know, give, I don't know, it's supposed to fucking make a difference. And special dual days. I slept up. through most of the meeting, but I remember that part. Okay. Of it. Uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> the top gifter on TikTok will receive a Gen X Talks merch box. What? A merch box. A box of merch. A box of Gen X Talks merch. If you're the top gifter? Yeah. We what if see. there's two people and one guy gives a dollar? He gets a merch box for giving a dollar? Yeah. Okay. It's like auctioning off this merch box. Okay. Whatever you say, man. But yeah, right now, I only caught Christopher who gave some weights, but that was it. Oh, you know what I you got. should say? Every right. chance you say, hey, that'll help me with my FFA hey, stuff. Hey, that'll help me with my FFA stuff. Can you stuff. explain what that is? Some people are so, asking what it is. So on TikTok, you can buy TikTok coins and then use those coins to send us gifts, which is just paying us and TikTok. Hey. Somebody just sent, uh, Ken Glover just paid 10 bucks, says for your FFA trip, and Sean yeah. Jones, 20 bucks, the kid's going to Indiana. Yeah. Far yeah. out, man. That's fucking cool. I mean, way more than we would have thought. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to get any. No, it's just right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, uh Instagram is now are, dead. <laughs> your people are, like, all over the place, Instagram's man. fucking dead. They're done. Gen X mom just fucked it up. Uh, pum pum pum. 1950 from Venmo, Sean Jones. That's confusing. 1952? Maybe that's the year he was born. Maybe. Or it's maybe pretty that's cool. all the money he had in the bank account. <laughs> John, Sean gave us his last $19.52. Yes. Sean, thank you. We salute you, buddy. Thanks for your help. <laughs> anyway, that was far out. Instagram so, took a dive. Instagram took a fucking nosedive. You got a good look at the bottom of the garage floor. All right. Whoa, Phil with the disco ball. Thank you. Phil? Yeah, disco ball. It's freaking awesome. What was all the sparkly shit? The, the disco ball. And Phoenix. And Duet. Uh, it says, like, your thing. Okay, keep going. Okay, all right, back so anyway, to what you're saying. We're getting off topic. I got a problem here. I got an uh, argument with the discussion with Gen X mom that Charlie Brown got canceled. And I was like, how can you fucking cancel Charlie Brown? She's like, no, it's seriously. Like, came one of her nudes feeds. So I fall looking for it, trying to figure it out. And then, uh, I mean, I was mad. Who the fuck could cancel Charlie Brown? I mean, even the most hardcore, dumbass, liberal, socialist, commie bastard would not cancel Charlie Brown. And they didn't. But they moved him from, like, ABC, you know, free television. So now it's on Apple. It's an Apple exclusive. So everybody's pissed. That's what the big uproar was. Everybody's fucking mad that now you got to pay to be part of Apple to see Charlie Brown. Which, yeah, there's parts of me that think that sucks and parts of me are like, it's okay, it's just, you know, it's capitalism. They fucking bought it to do a thing. And, you know, I mean, ABC had to pay and pay for commercials to be, they had commercial time to be, so money's moving around, only now it's coming out of my pocket too. But I would definitely pay to see the Charlie Brown specials because they're fucking awesome. And that's it. And you should too. See how I pointed at YouTube? It's because I don't think YouTube's listening. That's why I'm... Pay attention. I know, they're with right me. At you. We're just hanging out. We're just vibing. All right, your turn next. Go uh, with your notes. Oh, yeah, my notes. You don't even have notes. You get you get your notes from mom. Do you? I get my notes from the people. 
Do you even Okay? The you... people. I speak for what the people think. I am the gateway from the people to you. Okay? Do you even do I... any show prep at all? I think. Wow. So back to what I was saying. Okay. Can Gen Z kid mow grass? Heck yeah. Can mow lawn. Yeah. I was about to say, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, John Gruden thoughts. What are your thoughts on John Gruden? Christian Woods, man. Look at that. 20 bucks from Christian Woods. <laughs> FFA will teach you lots. Have a good time. Fuck, you got some people coming through people for you. people are so nice. That's badass. They wouldn't give a shit. I didn't think you guys would be this nice. Hey, I need a trip to Hawaii. Do you guys want to put in five bucks? I'd like to go to... It's a need. I have to go there. Hey, okay. drunk pappy mammy want to know what your pronouns are. Oh, my pronouns are... Uh... Okay, wait a minute. I'm a little confused on what that even means. I've never had to deal with that. I've heard people have to deal with that in the workplace. What does that mean? What do you want to be called? Like, By my name. He. I'm a he, him. Those are my pronouns. I'm well, no him. shit, you're a guy. What exactly. I... Some people are like, no, it's they. Some A person wants to be called they? Even though I don't see the other person there. If it's one person wants to be called they, it doesn't they mean two people? What else are pronouns? What, do you, what, are they, what could... What, I don't I'm, You fucking lost me. Her, what the f- she, her, like... Me, but a they, woman would be called she, her. Yeah, I know. They, they do whatever they want. Like... Do your pronouns can be whatever you want to be addressed. So if as. you're a, a guy, you can you can say your pronouns are a girl's pronouns. Yes. Well, that would have been helpful for you to tell me that. Is there I, anything else you're not letting on? All right, know. move along. Yeah. No, wait a second. Why why is this a thing? Why do you ha- why is there? Why do you get to choose a pronoun? Aren't you born with what you are? No, some people want to be called different things. Why? Because they're either like transgender or something, and they want to be referred to as something else. But. I don't get it. If you're, if you, I mean, is it like in the land of make believe? Like, if you say they believe that their pronouns are supposed to be, like she, they. But if you're a guy, yes, that's how they want to identify. And you say I, I am, a, I am a man, but I want to identify as a girl. Aren't you by default in, in that statement? Aren't you admitting I'm really a guy? But I, I want to pretend I'm a girl. So can we all pretend I'm a girl too? Isn't that, isn't that by definition? You're admitting you're a guy? I'm a guy, but please let's all address me as this. I you, guess. You're dragging this topic on for no reason. We already addressed it, okay? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I know there's only two genders and I can prove it. How? The United States government says there's only two genders. How can you prove that? You go to their CDC website and you look up coronavirus, uh, people who've been sick, uh, people who recovered, and people who died. And it's got all the numbers, and it's broke down by male and female. That's it. There's not attack helicopters and transsexuals, pansexuals, bisexuals, metrosexuals. There's none of that. U.S. government, CDC website, has two categories. Okay. Are you done? I I don't know. I didn't even know we were going here. I'm, I'm okay, kind of so- done. What are your thoughts on the John Gruden incident? I don't like John Gruden. I liked him before I found he was an asshole. I thought he was just an, a dick, but now I know he's an asshole too. Fine. He's, he was a terrible coach. He was not a good coach. The only Super Bowl he won was with Tony Dungy's team against the team that he knew he was the offensive coordinator. He got a Super Bowl team handed to him, and then he knew the other team's playbook when they went to the Super Bowl because he just, the year before, was their coach. Mm-hmm. And then everybody says, oh, hooray, you won. There's not even a... Bill Belichick wouldn't even have cheated that hard. So there you yeah. go. <laughs> um, are you happy about Stafford? Yeah. Matthew Stafford's a, a, Matthew Stafford's a decent quarterback that I think has... I think he has a lot more football left than him. I think with the right team, he's he can do very, very well. Um, what do you think of Drew Locke being better than Teddy Bridgewater? Oh, what do you what do you call Teddy? <laughs> Teddy Godwater. Teddy Godwater. Because he has like godlike games once in a while. Um, I don't know. I'm still I'm still figuring out. I'm still figuring out that quarterback scenario. I don't have an opinion yet. Whatever I said, if you fucked up, wrong, stupid, backwards, and inside out, pass. Okay, take don't, a drink while pass. I thank. Take a drink while I thank people. Thank you to Chris, Chris Galvin, Christopher, Gabriel, Megan. Vertica and their username was not my name. For what? 
Their what? name, their username was not my name. <laughs> so thank you guys all for sending gifts. Remember, you guys are top. You guys are fighting for that Gen X Talks merch box. It's like got shirts, hats, whatever. It's a merch box. We just throw a hodgepodge of merch. Um, <laughs> hodgepodge merch. Hodgepodge merch. Why don't you just change your site to that? Yeah, hodgepodge, hodgepodge merchandise. Uh, thoughts on the twin turbo S550 Mustangs? I, don't know, I probably should have said 550, but I read it like that. Yeah, I was going to say you're off there, but um, I'm going to give you guys an old mechanic saying um, it displaces turbos. Uh, it's got some adult humor built into it, but it is automotive. And about the only person out there that I know is going to get it is going to be Diesel Queen, but she's probably not watching anymore. Listen, uh, when it comes to the uh, Mustangs and turbos, um, injection is nice, but I'd rather be blown. <laughs> Blowers on car. You can get that just right over your head, didn't it? No, that's a fucking mechanics gig. Um, who's your favorite band? You can't say that. You can't compare it. You, I mean, I like the, the Beatles and the Beach <laughs> Boys. And like, Fist of Five is not my favorite band. Those motherfuckers didn't even invite me to Oklahoma. They just invited you. Yeah, because... That I'm... says something about their judgment right there. Who, who, who's Gen X... We went over this a couple TikToks ago. Who is Gen X Talks? You are Gen X Talks. And who did they want in Oklahoma? Gen X Talks. I rest my case. Mom got to go. Yeah, because she's my chaperone. I could have been your chaperone. No, you're not a chaperone. You would have said... You would have taken the spotlight. You would have tried to steal it, you know? You weren't going to... Fill the chaperone role. You won't fill the role I needed you on this team, okay? I'm filling a role? Yeah. That's just like when you told me I was going to be your plus one at the Speedway this weekend. Because you are. That is a role you can fill. I am nobody's motherfucking plus one. you got to get that through your goddamn head. Then don't go to Petaluma. I, Mom and I can go. I, I'm going. You tell two can stay here. Tell them about what's happening. Because I think the There's announcer you. guy's on. The um, announcer guy Ron is on. Yeah. Uh, Ron Lindgren is a cool cat I met. Um, he kind of sent an email and said, hey, you guys are dumb and stupid, but hey, I got an empty seat to fill. And I said, hey, dumb and stupid is my wheelhouse. So we're getting a chance to go up to the Speedway and hang out up there for the day. Sprint car races are on at the Petaluma Speedway. We're going to give away some t-shirts and some bumper stickers, and uh, um, they'll probably everyone want to take a picture of Gen X Mom. Everyone will probably want Gen Z Kids uh, autograph. And I can stand there and hold the box while they give away the free shit. But yeah. that's this weekend up at Petaluma Speedway. Uh, gates open at 4. We'll probably be there a little bit early right about then. Uh, take a tour of everything and check shit out. But uh, yeah, uh, Speedway Ron, he's our man this weekend. Fucking cool cat. Can't wait to go up there. So I got invited up there. I don't know what this dude is saying. I'll they invited talking Gen X shit. Talks. Do you who, guys see why I who drink? Who is Gen X Talks? Do you see Talks? why I fucking drink? God, Who damn it. Gen X talk? Yeah, empty glass. All right, go. What do you have next on your agenda? Oh, more shit mom gave you. Have you ever watched? No, not that mom gave me. It's what the viewers are saying. God. I interpret. How come I can't do the viewer shit? Why do I got to go through all this? Then why would I even be here? That's my point. Thank you. Exactly. Welcome aboard. I got to have a job. <laughs> I want to stay employed. You brought us the sandwiches. What more can you do? Have you watched Squid Game? Squid Game. I have I, not. I watched the first three episodes, and I haven't watched any more since. I thought it was pretty good. Well, what did you think about it? I mean, what's I the... thought it was pretty good. I think the storyline is great. I think... I thought it was just going to be like a game show like thing. Like, they were just going to show the games, but yeah. they really in, involved the story of each character. And, like, there's actual, like, theories that can be made about it. That they don't reveal first, like they hint clues and stuff. Holy shit! Can what? I interrupt you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Scotty Parker, twenty-five bucks. Hey, Scotty. Bobby Finley. Hey, oh, Bobby. Another twenty bucks. FFA trip. Hey, none of these say for whiskey. You know, you can say whiskey. You can say uh, whiskey on here. Fit fit twenty dollars for. It's all right. It's not just about him. I, I got to put up with this shit. How come somebody doesn't have like ten dollars for putting up with Gen Z kid? Yeah, you ever think of that? Parents uh, have needs, too. Thank you to Christopher and FRB for sending some gifts. Who's FRB? That's his username. FRB81. He sent in some flowers. Uh, the Midwest. I can't read the rest of your name. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. When someone sends flowers, yeah. I mean, do That's, they have a choice on what they send? Because 
I don't want. I don't need a guy sending me flowers. Can a guy send me like? Hey, he can send you whatever. A steering he wants. wheel. He sent roses. I just like so pretty much. You give TikTok money. They give you their virtual currency. Yeah, but does it have then, to be roses? No, it doesn't have to be roses. I mean, I am an attractive man, but I, I don't know that I want roses from a guy. I'm and just then, saying. Uh, Can I'll they send something else? Can they? Thanks, Sly Fox saying Stone Speed Racer or whatever. Stone Speed. Stone, Stone Speed, Speed, Speed Racer. Racer. Yep, that's, that's... I just filled in the rest of his name. Oh, there was a thing on here that... I, I got... Uh, fuck. I read some of those TikTok comments that people write. Probably not... Probably not you guys on Instagram. You guys are quality. You are high class people. But those people on TikTok right there, you motherfuckers, I tell you. The comments on some of his videos are so asinine. I don't think you people can tie your own shoes in the morning. You definitely can't solve a puzzle with only two pieces. That's how fucked up that shit is. Unbelievable. I mean, you can elaborate. You can have you can put a complete sentence together. I mean I'm not a grammar Nazi, but Jesus Christ. Which speedway are you guys going to be at? Petaluma. Petaluma. Petaluma Speedway. Also, for the people who's asking for our Venmo, it is Gen X Talks. You might see a trend going on. You know, it's uh, <laughs> Gen X Talks Instagram, Gen X Talks YouTube, Gen X Talks TikTok, Gen X Talks website. I think you know what our Venmo is. And holy crap, who put a solar system on our live stream? That was pretty cool. What's a solar system? I don't know who sent it because it's like it fills up uh, the whole screen. Gem City Barber sent it. Well, Gem City... Gem City Barber. Is that the thing that took up the whole screen? Yeah. They, whoa, whoa! What the fuck is that? Why are people sending? Phones? What are you doing? That's an airplane. You're interrupting. Oh, I can was, get an airplane. I can do window. an airplane. That was the, the window, window family. DJ and hey. Wendell family. Yeah. You guys need to stop interrupting our live stream. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Cash what? app. Cash app. Anybody? Same thing. Cash Gen app. Gen X talks. Gen X talks. Have you? I. Have <laughs> you developed? I, there's a trend here. <laughs> <laughs> His last name is Wendell. 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 I'm so gonna call him that. Wendell? Wendell. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. You should not have given me that. Uh, <laughs> Wendell. There you go. There you, go. Oh. And you need to decipher that. Yeah. If I can't decipher it, you got it. DTMD Cox. What's well, with an X? Don't get dirty. It was with that's an X. Just, I think that's his username. Yes. Yeah, Desert Storm Vet Army. Hoorah! He likes you. Hey, he just like, oh, okay. shout out. Like, Decipher it. The dude's a fucking cool cat. I thought that said, like, verses or he something. He served thought, our country, and you're like, can you figure this shit I out? I thought I was blind, okay? Let me decipher it for you. I'm deaf. I can't Great see. American hero. Meet Gen Z. Gen Z, great American hero. All right. <laughs> God. Sorry. And I'm, you guys wonder why I fucking drink. I'm sorry. I'm deaf, and I can't see. <laughs> if only you would just shut up now. We'd all be sad. <laughs> Okay, thank you to Josh, thank you to Sly Fox, thank you to Gem City Barber, especially thank you to the Wendell family, and thank you to Stoned. And then it says SBE, and I'm pretty sure it means speed something. Uh, Broncos or Rams? Broncos or Rams? Hey, Bobby Finley, $10 for whiskey! Hey oh All right! Bobby Finley, hey oh Bobby Finley taking care of the big guy. Peter Garcia, $5 for Gen X Dad for putting up with your shit. It even says it! Hey oh My man! I don't know where you are, but so, um, my man. So, uh, oh, don't cut short the people that are talking trash about you. All right, I got some. I can't. <laughs> I I don't hear anything, so I don't. Okay, so I got something. I asked a question before you said, "Hold on, guys, I got <laughs> some Venmo money." So it was the Broncos or the Rams. What are they playing each other tomorrow? I don't know. No, they want to know why you go both. <laughs> Why I go both ways? Why Is that what both? you just said? My wife just said they want to know why you go both ways. Okay, some things are supposed to be kept between us. You know that, right? You don't just put my business out on the street like that. Um, I was born and raised in L.A. I was a Ram fan. Um, but in 1976, I think it was, the um, Broncos were playing. I was a kid. Broncos were playing, um, uh, I think, the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. And I just got hooked on, I got hooked on them. I got hooked on the Broncos that game and I just kind of never let go I was always supporting him I love John Elway even when he was wrong way Elway throwing more passes in the playoff games in the 80s to the other team than to our team I got it I was there um, just I've been a Bronco fan since then so don't think I was a Johnny come lately jump on the bandwagon with uh, two Super Bowls in a row not me Peyton Manning uh, who's the great maintainer <laughs> he just maintained the Super Bowl for us let the defense win it 
I've been a Bronco fan forever. I was very upset when the Rams moved away. Still a fan, but very upset when they moved. Glad they're home. Yeah, they belong back home. And please don't some dumb motherfucker say, well, you know what? Uh, the fucking Rams, uh, they weren't even from L.A. They are from Chicago and Detroit area. First. I don't give a shit. I know they were Ram. Los Angeles is their home. You don't get that shit that happened before doesn't matter. I got a very narrow mind way of thinking about things, just like history started in 1776. That's when history began. All right, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> okay. Can you put? Oh wait, no. Yes. Hello. Uh... Peter Garcia, ten bucks. I'm going to Hawaii. Hey oh. <laughs> Peter, I can't... Oh, you spelled it right. Peter spelled it right, too. Here. Read Peter's thing right there. You can't have quiet time here. you got to say something. When I say read it... I'm reading it. Out loud. Which one? Peter Garcia. There's two. The second one. Dad trip to Hawaii. Hope you get laid. Yeah, but he didn't say laid. He said laid. Okay. L-E-I apostrophe D, laid. Can you put a blower on an F-350? Can you put a blower on an F-350? Yeah. I mean, probably not a power stroke, but yeah, you can put a blower on an F-350. Thoughts on Dave Not Chappelle. even Diesel Queen could put a blower on a power stroke. Thoughts hey, on Dave Chappelle's new special? Uh, the most recent one? That, he's, yeah. that he trashes everybody? It's fucking brilliant. I've watched it 300 times. That fucking guy, I'd, I'd pay to watch that every time. That's how good his latest one is. He fucking goes after everybody. O.J. Simpson, Juicy Smollett. Everybody. This is totally an original thought going back to the L.A. Ram thing. I definitely didn't read it from the chat. What? So if the Rams yeah. aren't an L.A. team, then the Lakers aren't either. Because they're from Minneapolis. So they're not an L.A. team. Got to so. stretch my fucking knee. I still have a torn meniscus. <laughs> yeah, that's Everybody just grow the fuck up and uh, deal with it. Walter, okay. Walter. No, no. I'm commenting on what you said. Oh, okay. You get that shit out of your head right now. The Lakers are from L.A. Yeah, I know. I was saying it like as a yeah. Don't don't, don't you talk blasphemy. Wow, knock you in. I didn't talk blasphemy. That's a lie. When you say the Lakers aren't from L.A., that's blasphemy. I was blasphemy. saying it in a sarcastic tone. I thought Gen Xers invented sarcasm. What the heck is going on? Well, you, then you can't use it. You're Gen Z. Yeah. Oh, so if somebody invents a chair, nobody else is allowed to use that chair because they invented it. Not without permission. Oh my goodness. Welcome aboard. Glad you caught on to that. I literally... Who just sent that? <laughs> I just missed it. I looked over She'll it. catch it. She got it second Dang. to you. Okay, so he... All, okay, everybody, time out. So the kid gets an invite from Fist of Five, which... Very true. I like their music. I question their judgment. He goes to Oklahoma with Gen X Mom, has a very humbling, grateful to be part of Adventure and filming a music video for them. And then he makes all these friends with these other TikTokers and social video creators. Creator he, moment. Creator moment. So it comes back and he starts telling me all about him. Then he starts a fucking war with Officer Smith. <laughs> now, I saw you start the war on TikTok. I didn't get it at first. But then I saw the comments. I start Officer Smith. You fucking went right after that dude. Okay? Yeah. I might have a little problem with that. The guy's a cop with a badge, handcuffs, and a gun. Okay, I've always been in the backseat of the police car. I don't need you bringing that motherfucker here. <laughs> okay? And you, you're funny. starting shit. It's not funny at it all. Is, it is really funny. Why didn't you tell me you were involving me in a street war? It's funny. We're having a good time. Just hanging out, you know? I don't think it's so funny. I think it's funny. Are you done going after creators? No. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> all those people... You guys, you guys should not have invited me there. That I was the wrong move. That. You invited the wrong person. <laughs> well, I did, as a, as a good and conscious father, I did look up all the people that were there. I did look up who you were hanging out with. I thought it was appropriate yeah. for me to know. So, mm -hmm. I, got, I, got, I got a view of everybody. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. what do you think of uh, Diesel Queen? Diesel Queen. Well, yeah. She's uh, she's a she's a young girl with old girl problems is the way I view it. Um, she's got she's had some tough stuff, but yeah. she's a diesel mechanic, so you know they don't really count. <laughs> so, sorry, um, it's just diesels. Okay, what do Once, you, think? you know the diesels won't shut off; they just keep running. They ha there's a thing called a runaway diesel where you can't shut off a diesel engine. It sucks the oil, its own oil out of the oil pan, just keeps going until it blows up. That's an uncontrollable situation. Plus, okay, well, uh, she works on everything with cranes. I had to lift everything. She has a crane to lift everything up. She told me a story about some guy 
using a crane to lift up a 25 pound water pump. Okay. Nice. That's diesel. <laughs> That's a diesel mechanic. Okay. We'll set them aside. Okay. Um. Who else? Josh. Time out with Josh. Uh, I didn't really look at too much with Josh. Josh was kind of like uh, I'm not even sure what his gig was. He's he, he just like... looks so affable. He looks like. He looks regular. Every one of you fuckers did not look like you belonged together. And there's Josh, who's just sitting there quietly, being the most normal American there was. Like Billy Ray Cyrus, but with a beard. You know... <laughs> I can't keep it together. <laughs> Jeez, mom's laughing. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. Anybody else? Okay. I'll look them all up. So wait, you know Josh does cosplay stuff, right? He does like the makeup and everything. No, Josh? Yeah, he does. No. Yes. He dressed up like a girl? No. Like Japanese anime? No. Like. Like I what? Know. I don't know. Like yeah. pirates. Yeah. So, you know, I had this normal opinion he does of him, cool stuff. and now you just threw it out the window. Okay. Fuck. Um. Uh, who's another one? I, don't I know. forgot everybody else who was there. Uh, Primal. Oh, Primal. Wait. Darkness. Darkness. Primal Darkness. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know why that guy got invited, because you don't tell a dude that fucking big with that fucking face and attitude, no. He probably didn't even get invited. He probably called up DJ and said, I'm coming over. And DJ's like, yes, I, I was going to call you anyway. I got a room for you right here. No problem. Click. I mean, I don't even know what that guy's job could have been on a, on a video set, except to sit off in the parking lot and bench press Buicks all day. I mean, what else was there to do? What? I'm just saying. He's dying. Okay, take, a, take a drink while I thank people. Thank you, Brock. Thank you, Rayton. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you, Gem City. Thank I can't you, Bill. drink. I'm fucking done. All right. Thank you to all those people, all the cool people. Who's that us. again? Tell me. Brock, Raiden, Anonymous, Gem City, and Phil. <laughs> Wait, you got all these cool names? Like Raiden and Gem City, Anonymous, and Phil. Yep, and Phil. And Phil. <laughs> hey, what about Drunk Pappy Mammy? Oh, they're here too. I don't know if they said anything yet. Nope. Oh, what am I supposed to say about Drunk Pappy Mammy? Hey, this is you. Okay, I did look those dudes up, or that guy up, or the team of the... I don't know, Drunk Pappy... Okay, is it just me or that guy fucking every picture I've seen of that guy, the stuff you guys brought home? That motherfucker, drunk Pappy Mammy, he's he's got 1.5 million followers on yeah, TikTok. He deserves That's a serious it. cat. He deserves it. But the fucking guy looks like every, th every morning he wakes up, the first thing he does is put his dick in a light socket and his hair goes boom. <laughs> and he walks around that way with this, this look. Every picture, morning, noon, and night. Could have been two in the morning picture, eight in the morning picture. That motherfucker's wired. I mean, yeah! Woo! He fucking looks... I mean, that's... I had never met him. I never met the guy. Oh, but just knowing that about him, I have to say, my heart goes out to his wife. She has got to oh, be a saint. God. An absolute fucking saint. <laughs> He's laughing. I mean, absolutely a saint to, to deal with that shit. <laughs> I mean, th that's badass. You put your dick in a light socket in your mouth. I couldn't do it. He acts but, like he did it, too. He's like, whoa! He's that bouncing off the walls. He's, that guy is probably one of the funniest people I've met. All right, He's drunk, so good. Uh, you guys got to go check him out. But that motherfucker, that's a guy I could have a drink with. Uh, Primal is a guy I would probably bring him his drinks. <laughs> all right, anybody else? I know them all. I, I checked out all your shit. Okay, Blue. Blue-Eyed Darkness. Blue-Eyed Darkness. Okay. She was the most confusing for me because all the pictures and stories you guys said that I saw of her and the behind the scenes stuff and then I went to her page and looked at all this shit. She looks like the most sweet, lovable person. Like this genuine article girl yeah. like you've never seen. And then the stuff that she decorates her face with all that colored frosting, I'm telling you, she's like, okay, there is something deep inside of her. And she reaches way down in and goes, pa! And you gotta pay attention because her that makeup shit I don't even like cosplay shit, and yeah. I watched the all those over you and over again. You had to ask me what cosplay was. I did have to ask you, but I, I get it now. So yeah. I have to ask you shit. I know shit. I don't need to ask you anything. So who else was on there? There was somebody else. Um, Scotty B. Inked Scotty B. Scotty B. Inked Scotty B. Scotty B is the one that I resent the most out of everybody. Inked Scotty B is his name, and he's on Instagram, and he's on... Uh, Facebook and he's on TikTok. Ink Scotty B. That motherfucker is like ripped, cut, longer, cooler beard than mine. Oh, and it's stiff too. You can have another mask. That motherfucker. And I'll tell you the main reason I don't like him is because my wife, Gen X mom, spends way too much fucking time looking at his Instagram page. 
He's some romance cover model. Like, they take pictures of him to woo women. And he's got them all up on the page, and she spent the weekend with him. Now I'm fucking pissed. I didn't know that. There's no way to fucking let her go. God damn it. So, yeah, Ink Scotty B is off my fucking list. Fuck that guy. Um, thank you to Megan, Lindsay, Tainted something. I didn't get to read it. Uh, Gabriel and Big Brown for sending this all that Duh. Thank you. And what are they competing for? I don't know. Some whoever shoe box. Sends, whoever, a shoe box. Whoever sends the most gifts, because we can see the top gifters at the end of the live stream, whoever is at the top of that list, we will email you or direct message you on TikTok, because that's like they're at. And you guys can get a Gen X Talks, Gen X Talks merch box. You're going to get a shoe box full of shit that I don't want anymore. It's a merch box. All the scraps in my garage that I'm trying to get rid of are going to you. I got a, I got a shit ton of 11 millimeter sockets, and they're all coming your way. Merch box. It's a hodgepodge of merch box. So, DJ was another guy I looked up, but there's nothing to look up on him. He's like just a name. He's not even a name. He's two, he's two letters. He's wait, no, initials. You, wait, before you do DJ, shoe lover. Oh, yeah, you know what? I have no idea what Shoe Lover... What is she? Shoe Lover... What's her number? 99. Shoe Lover 99. Okay. That girl, I don't even know what she looks like. I don't know what her TikToks are about because after the first one, all I did was put my headphones on and listen to her talk. I just listened and listened and listened and listened. I ain't heard a voice that soft and sweet since Sexy Voice out of Seattle, Washington. And I just listened to Shoe Lover. I, I listened to all her videos. I don't even know what they said. She had a podcast. Her voice. She has a podcast? I know. I'd fall asleep to that. No shit. I would too. No one tells me these things. Anyway, beautiful. You now, were, can I say you something You weren't about? there in Oklahoma, so... I wasn't know. there. I didn't get invited. Nobody wanted me to go. Next time, just... A uh, bunch of no-talent wannabes. Got a be more friendly next time. Maybe you will invite you. You want to know how popular DJ is? How popular is DJ? I found out today that he got invited to play with his band, A Storefront, in uh, Oregon, in a little town, Ashland, Oregon. I think it was Ashland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how great those guys are. Would you play our storefront? Yeah. That's a true story. <laughs> I'm not making this shit up. You think I'd make up some shit about that? Hey, Bert. Yes. Look, your. I know, I saw. It's blowing up there, man. I know. It's. I'm trying to keep track. I'm all right, so listening, I'm going to move on to uh, the last one on here, and I don't get this at all. Um, the last guy that was in your deal was a guy named J-Lo J -Lo, J -Lo Fett, like oh, Boba Fett. Yeah. J-Lo Fett was on there, so I looked up his TikTok. There's not much on his TikTok. He doesn't have a lot of followers, J-Lo Fett. He doesn't do a lot. He's not interesting, so i got to ask somebody, why the fuck was he even there? Uh, diversity quotas. What? Yeah, diversity quotas. And then he felt left out, so uh, we made him honorary white. Oh, well, he took care of the guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that explains why he was involved. I'm like, okay, you got all these big people, and you got J-Lo there. But if he's rounding out your diversity quota, yeah. I got you. He's also Blue's manager, so he kind of had to come along, so they invited <laughs> him just in case. Because you know. Blue says my manager's coming whether you want to or not. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, we really wanted you here, man. Okay, so thank you to Matt, J. Parm, Lil, Lil Cara. I, I wrote that wrong, probably. Um, the New Yorker, Richie, J Parm, Lindsay, and Tank Kicker. Thank you guys all for the gifts. You guys all know what you're competing for, unless you're just really nice. Yeah, yeah. shoebox. Full of no, shit. A hodgepodge, a merch box. Hodgepodge, merch box. That's it. Holy okay. shit, I'm behind on this shit. You gotta hang on a what second. What the heck, man? I'm trying to tell you there's some cool shit over here, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. Well, hey guys, I'm over here. I'm Gen Z Kid. Alright, let me go back over in case I didn't say it. Scotty Parker. 25 for whiskey for me. Bob Finley paid me 10 for whiskey. These are mine. Hey I want the fucking money. Uh, Peter Garcia paid 5. Peter Garcia paid 10 to get me to Hawaii. That's right. Hey Brian McMahon paid me $40. Hey now, it says 20 for you and 20 for me, but that's not right. That's it's, a typo. No. That's a autocorrect. <laughs> How do you autocorrect the FFA and? It's Because it, it's the fucked up. He's on an iPhone, which we learned today sucks. Megan drove $20. Megan Messi? Drove? Megan Dro Dove. Megan Dove, sorry. Megan Dove, $20. I have four Gen Z kids. Have a drink for me. If you have four kids, I need to send you $20. For your Hi -yo. I'm like one of those auctioneer people whenever they like... Peter Garcia out. paid you $5. Put on that Dodger hat and the team needs you. He's, a, he's from Roscoe and Laurel Canyon. That Roscoe and Laurel Canyon, I used to go to that Rouse, like in that Chuck E. Cheese. 
Hey, go get the Dodger hat. I gotta put it on. There used to be a Mervin's and a Miller's. Okay. Yeah, Mervin's. Here, answer that question while I'm done. Bye. They want you to get buy bourbon, get off the cheap jack. <laughs> Question uh, from the audience that Gen Z kid just handed me. I'm just reading it here. Why is Gen Z kid's penis so small? I don't know. I'm not sure. We're trying to figure that out. Doctors have tried to do what they can, but I don't know why his penis is so small. Uh, it also says Walter Payton or Gail Sayers. Uh, uh, you got to go with sweetness. I, I love Gail Sayers. Don't get me wrong, but... Come on, man. When you see, you know, he's like Barry Sanders. Walter Payton could have run for any team. And that's it. All right. You paid me five bucks to put it on. I don't care if you send me a thousand dollars. Not putting the fucking Raider Raiders hat on. Uh, Genix Dad, what do you do for work? Is one of those possible? What? What? What was the question? What do you do for work? What was, was your shitty thing? answer? I didn't say anything. What did you say, motherfucker? I don't know. Should I play? I played the fifth. <laughs> I am a semi-retired mechanic. I have a couple rental properties now, and I do some leasing consulting, which is boring. Uh, where are y'all from? Uh, we are from Bakersfield, California. I'm not. Or I'm from Bakersfield. We are located right <laughs> are now. Lo- currently residing Earth. in. <laughs> All right, so I got to get back to one thing before we get too far. Wait one second. What's yeah. Pop's game five prediction? Giants are three and two in extras. What's my game five prediction with yeah. the Giants and Dodgers? Okay, yeah. follow me on this. So what the the Giants won at home? Um, what was it? Four to one, something. Won by a couple runs, not a big game. Um, they won at Dodger Stadium, one nothing, low scoring game. Uh, we beat them by four or five five runs last night, and we kicked their ass in their own park. In San Francisco, nine to two. Don't don't think we can't put the bat on the ball when we're out of town, because we fucking can. Don't forget that. So what I think, I think the Dodgers are going to win tomorrow, and they're going to win uh, seven to three. And uh, you write that down, write that fucking down with a pen. Just grab a pen. And it's, we're going to win, and then we're going to move on. And the Giants are going to go home, a bunch of fucking crybabies. Uh, Ricky Bobby jokes. Oh, wait. That uh, was for me. Sorry. Okay, so when you started this thing with Fist of Five, and you made a run at, uh, you started talking shit about Officer Smith, yeah. you got a little lecture from him about Snapchatting his daughter. That is, uh, that is a fact. Yes. You, you know, you, you're gonna, you pissed the guy off. He's got a gun, a badge, and handcuffs. I'm already on the wrong side of that equation, mm-hmm. and now you're making moves on his daughter. I still am. You still are, right? as in right now? Yep. I don't know whether to be proud or punch you in the fucking you mouth. You, you might want to start with an apology. You can't just do this to his daughter. He's going to say something. So shout out to the soldiers in Fort Hood. <laughs> yeah. Our soldiers oh, out in Fort Hood. You are an unapologetic bastard. Go, unapologetic. Woo! Unapologetic Gen Z. All you soldiers out in Fort Hood. What's All right. Up? I tried. I tried. So I tried to fucking get you to do the right thing, but it ain't happening. Jesus Christ. Do you guys see why I fucking drink? Who's drinking with me? Don't don't make me drink alone. Anybody on YouTube drinking? Anything? Just one just take a drink with me. I mean I'll drink alone, but fuck, it's boring. Come on, man. Just one. Okay. So um thank you to This says low battery. We have 20% remaining. Alright, so good, he's gone again. We talked about his penis. Hey! What the heck, man? That's pretty weird. <laughs> One <Hey>. thing... <laughs> get out! One thing you don't know that I'll tell you for him, uh, he was talking about that Officer Steve thing the other day, and I, I asked him, point blank, like, why are you putting the moves on this guy's girl? And he very clearly looked at me, he goes, Dad, I can turn this down, but I can't turn it off. And he walked away. That was his answer about why he's texting the cop's daughter. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, do this shit by myself. So, fuck it. We can do whatever we want. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's a statement. Uh, Once in a while, a couple of people come into your life that really change things up and make a difference. Well, you're welcome, America. Oh, they got an email saying why they ask me why do you call people names all the time? 
And I say, I call everybody a dumb fuck so I can stay politically correct. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I got two emails from two people, two followers that want me to send picture of you, pictures of you when you were younger. Uh, so you got to send those out. You just scroll to the beginning of my page. <clears throat> page. That's what you do? Yeah, it's pictures of me when I'm younger. Officer Actually, you Steve? You guys said Smith. Officer Steve. That's what... Steve's on there. Who's... Who? Steve is from Fist of Five. Yeah. Officer Smith is the officer. That's Somebody what I, said I Officer Smith. Okay, so Officer Smith has got issues. You're the one who got it wrong. And Steve <laughs> is the cool cat on Instagram. I never met Steve. I've only heard good things about him. And you got to remember, there's Steve is from Fist of Five. If he writes songs and he's quiet... Except for when he's singing. You know what that says about a dude? That dude wouldn't say shit if his mouth was full of it. He's just a cool cat. I like that. I haven't met him yet. Steve, you mean... I'm pretty sure you're talking yes. about Johnny. No, Steve. Does he write the songs? I don't know. That's what I heard. Okay. okay. All right. Um, Mustang or Challenger or Charger? What year? Mustang, Challenger, or Charger? I don't know. Two Dodge products and a Ford? You're just leaving out Chevy completely? The best one of each. Have you compared the best one of each? If I had to pick which one I want, I, I used to own, I've owned them all, but I used to own a 19, well, my favorite one is 1970 Barracuda. You left out Barracuda, whoever you are, I'll find you. I left out, you left out Barracuda I, with a 400. That's what I, 404 bro, I take that. Um, where do they send money? Who is they? Who do you think? I don't know, you're the, you're the... You're the guy trying to go to Indiana. Oh, not okay, me. so you get you have to specify who it's going to. If it's going to me, it's going toward my Indiana like MFA field trip. To him, it's for uh, drinks and Hawaii, and not... women, women in coconut bikinis. <laughs> now that's a worthy cause. Okay. Come on, ten bucks for the coconut bikinis. Just say it. You know so, you want to. This Twenty is... and you can go with me. Diesel Queen Ash's question. I'm what? pretty sure is what it means. Yes. The okay. four cycles of an engine. I think, isn't it the four strokes? Isn't that what it's called? You are right. Yeah, so the four strokes are... You're going to answer Diesel Queen's question? <laughs> All right. It's com compression. You going in order oh, no. or are you just guessing? No, 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 no. <laughs> Intake. Yeah. Compression. Yeah. Power. Yeah. And then, like, the one where it gets rid of it. I forgot the name of it. It gets rid of it. Exhaust. <laughs> there you expel. go. Exhaust stroke. <laughs> when we're hey, rid of it. The expel so, stroke. The expel. We gotta go to class next time. Everybody is now called the expel stroke. I said exhaust. <laughs> I said exhaust. I know, but you said expel too, and that was great. And get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, you suck. Get the out of here. The expel stroke. No. <laughs> that is now the new definition. Since we're redefining all the history books and everything else, yeah. we are now doing the four, four cycle, four stroke engine. Fourth one is expel stroke. Hey, but I got it though. Uh, <laughs> Steve from Gen X Talks. Steve from, Steve Gen, from Gen, Gen X Talks. I mean, no, my guy, somebody? Steve from Fist yeah. of Five. Is he, fuck, our man? is he our intern? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> he says he carries the bags. Oh, oh Steve yeah. carries the bags? He does carry yeah. the bags. Hey, time out with Josh just got on, and he wants to know what is Gen X kid's favorite car and why? I don't have a favorite. Time car. with Josh just came on. I think he missed his thing. Yeah, Josh, you missed all the shit we're talking about. You missed a bunch yeah. of it. Sorry, man, you're late to the party. But according to what everybody says in, in Oklahoma, that's I was talking usual. about like how your acting sucked, like in the video. I couldn't like, stop him. Uh, it all it was all bad. I called you Billy Ray Cyrus, but with a beard. That is true. <laughs> that did happen. All right. Uh, what was the question? Wait. Oh, what's your favorite J-Lo's on. J-Lo's on. Now we got to do the J-Lo part again because J-Lo's on TikTok. J-Lo. J-Lo. He just... I was yeah. asking about everybody that was on the set and the primal and shit like that. And I, and I said, why did you guys... I looked at J-Lo Fett's uh, TikTok stuff. He's like, mediocre dude, mediocre followers, mediocre TikToks. Why the fuck was he even out there in Oklahoma? And he says, to round out the diversity quota. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> as you know, J-Lo, we did make you honorary white. That did happen. There are people, uh... Oh, there's... shit, that was funny. Um, oh, what's your man. favorite whiskey? I thought they asked you what your favorite car was. Weren't you going to say... I don't, I don't have a favorite Anyone car. that I could drive. Oh, yeah. If it runs, I think it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's Are the question? Are you trying to raise money for the national convention? Somebody's asking. Yeah, yes. so I can get there. Gen X mom's <laughs> question was, is Gen Z kid trying to raise money for the national convention for FFA? Yes, donations. 
If you buy merchandise on his thing, there's some cool new stuff on there. We're giving him all the money for the next three or four weeks that comes through there to try to get him to uh, the FFA convention in Indiana. He's trying, he's mowing lawns, he's yeah. cashing in aluminum cans, he's doing his part. But it's Tell expensive. Coupon code FFA. Oh, if you buy anything, Gen X mom's yelling at me about shit. If you buy anything from merch, just type in FFA yeah. as the coupon code. Coupon code, you get some money off, which is cool. Hey, J Lo Fett says, yeah, they needed a token minority for yeah. legal reasons. They do need a token minority <laughs> for legal reasons. J Lo Fett. Uh, um, I gotta meet that guy just on just on this shit. Thank you for thank you to Brian Sugar. I didn't even get the rest of it. Stoned. And Sly underscore 10 for all the gifts they sent. Remember, the, the top gifter at the end of the live stream gets a Gen X Talks merch box. Gets a shoe box. box full of 11, 11 millimeter sockets and wrenches. No, it's... Time out with Josh says, oh my god, I still love you, Dad. <laughs> and Steve of 55 says, Gen X Dad is my hero. Hey, I'm a what goddamn hero. Hey, I got a question about this. Hey. So these gifters, you said Brian, Sugar, Stone, and Sly. Yeah. So here, again, every time you got a group of these people... It's Sly, Stone, Sugar, and Brian. The last one was all these names and Phil. Yeah. Why is there always just one dude with a regular name? Uh huh. It's a trend. Thanks, Stone. He sent more stuff. What is the FFA convention? Uh, national convention is the biggest FFA event. It shouldn't even be called national. It should be international because kids from Hol or from not Hawaii, Japan. <laughs> Hawaii <laughs> became a state. I don't know if you got the memo. You've been in Oklahoma a long time. <laughs> from Japan. People from Japan actually get there. So if they, you get there, there's a ton of... It's like Comic-Con, but FFA. And there's a ton of different booths and conventions to talk to farmers, national vendors. Like, you literally learn a lot about public speaking leadership. It's a ton of great opportunities. That was oh, unscripted, That was too. unscripted. I did not practice that. My man! That. My man! <laughs> All right, I got to tone it down for a second, all right? I want to tone it down for just a minute. Quit fucking typing a bunch of shit. We're going to do a trivia question next for some prizes, but i got to tone it down. I want to talk about something serious. Now, some of you know what's coming, but some of you don't. Your first time here. I wouldn't expect you to know. It's your first car. You guys have all experienced the same problem at some point in your life. I've, I've had the problem, too. Mm -hmm. Everyone has. People lose their jobs over shit like this. You know what I'm talking about. You ever turn on the TV? All of a sudden, people are talking. Stuff's going on, but there's no sound. You can't tell what the fuck is going on. People lose their jobs when shit like that happens. It's called dead air. You know it. You've experienced it. How many times you got in your car? Once in a while, once a year. You turn on the radio, nothing's there. And what do you do? You push all the other stations to make sure your radio's not broke. But it's just that one station. That one station's got nothing but dead air. And it sucks, doesn't it? Especially if it's something you were in the middle of listening to or you're in the middle of watching. Now you're stuck and you don't know what the fuck is happening. It happens all the time. People lose their jobs. People go home with their luggage. Grab all your shit, put it in a cardboard box, clear out your desk. You don't do that. And we, we don't like it either. We don't like looking at that shit. Well, here at Gen X Talks, we work hard, and we've perfected dead air. We want you to leave here tonight knowing that you have experienced the best fucking dead air on the planet. We, we, yeah. we like, we're like scientists with this yeah. shit. If this was like scripted and commercial, it'd be like... You'd see us in lab coats with, like, eyedroppers. Yeah, testing shit. Headphones. I mean, we get it right. So what I'm going to bring to you now is the highest quality, the best you've ever heard, dead air. That is just crisp. It's beautiful. That was one of our best ones. I mean, yeah. I felt that. That that moved me. And take a drink. I gotta Here. take a drink. So, thank you to Matrix, Stone, Conflict, 42 Skills, The New Yorker, Sly Tender, and Greg. I gotta tell you, when you guys go to work tomorrow, you know what you're gonna do? First thing, you're gonna go kick in the doors of work and go, Hey, have I got a story for you. And it's gonna be about how you experienced the best dead air ever. You're welcome, America. Also, and, thank you to Wit Wit. And Denmark. I didn't miss you. Oh, yeah, and Denmark. Hey, does dead air smell? Yes. There's no smell. Wait, no, it does not smell. There's no smell. No sound. <laughs> no smell. <laughs> He's dying. He laughed. Sorry. Mom just said, does dead air smell? No. The first time in my life I know what whiskey smells like. Oh, fuck. So, uh, no, dead air does not smell. <laughs> 
Like, as soon as I put up the dead air sign, everything, all senses go numb for everybody. Jesus Christ! Yeah, to me, dead air smells like Jack Daniels. Good well, God, almost came out of my fucking nose. Uh, that's the aftermath. Who that's wrote aftermath. that? Who wrote does dead air smell? Uh, hold on. I'm calling bullshit. I'm hitting the bullshit bell. <laughs> No, dead air does not smell, you motherfuckers. El Guapo del Valle. El Guapo, knock that shit off, man. This is live. I can't cut and edit that out, man. He's going to die. <laughs> He's going to die. He's going to do it. Hey, by the way, Blue Eye Darkness is on. Say hi. Oh, hi. Blue Eye Darkness. Hi, three, two, one. Hi, hi, Blue. Hi, Blue. <laughs> <clears throat> Something smells like iron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, got your email? Get the email address? No, maybe. Stop rushing. All right, now it's trivia time, which means you got to get out your email. Can you put it out? Will they see it if you lay it up there? Oh, yeah. All right, so here's the gig. Open up your email. Yes. Get our name in there, right there. That one, right there. You too. You too. They know. That's Instagram. They know. you got to explain to the slow people over on YouTube. No, YouTube is not slow. YouTube is wicked fast. They got every trivia question right the last time we had this little war was going on. Okay, Instagram that's because they got, let they let Instagram you win. Instagram got let knocked you, out of the park. They Instagram win. let you win. We had a we had a ten second delay on Instagram to help out the Special Olympic team over on YouTube here. That's how it happened. No, they're so slow that it takes them ten seconds to process what the question was. They're like, that is not true. Oh. No, it, I don't know what you weirdos in TikTok are looking at. Shut up. We're in the middle of something here. All right, hey, you stay right there. Stay there. We'll get to you in a stay. second. Stay. Get your emails out. Open them up. Get them to this. It's trivia. First one to email the answer, Gen X Mom is right over there, right behind everybody, doing her thing. Okay? If you put it in the TikTok comments, you'll be ostracized. <laughs> you guys always fucking put it in the comments because no one wanted to participate. There's like a thousand it. people just going, fuck it, I'm just answering it in here and they're going to drink and just keep texting it. I know, you fuckers. I'd probably do the same goddamn thing. All right, I'm going to give you a quote from a movie. Not necessarily 80s, but something you should all know. And if you don't, I want you to hang up immediately. Hang up is a term we used to years. Yeah, and I get it. Hang I up. know. <laughs> All right, here comes the quote. Send the email with the answer. I need the name of a movie. What is the name of the movie? Ready? You are cluttering up my mile. Dig me in. Dig me in. You are cluttering up my mile. Let me in. No, nope. you can't participate, and you know it. I don't want you over here emailing real quick. Don't worry. Getting We're your waiting. fucking. We're waiting. All right, you are cluttering up my mile. Anybody? See, everybody who's like a millenni- late millennial uh, Gen Z, miles. you gotta you gotta Google it. But Gen Xers already know. You can't be Gen X; they're already gonna know. Gen X is gonna hit the fucking button. That's no, how fast we are. Green mile. Green mile is the answer. Yeah. Who got Ryan it? Ryan Dodd. Ryan Dodd. I got a cousin named Dodd. Oh, Ryan no. Dodd. You know, Gen Xers are so slow. I think that train. Gen Zs and Millennials can Google it fast enough, copy paste and email it before them. Trained. Trained well, Gen Zs. Well, all of us are trained. Trained in what? All of us are trained. They put Trained in like... cheating? Using Google no. copy and paste? It's not cheating. It's <laughs> cheating if it's a quiz. This is a quiz. No. No. <laughs> all right, so who was that dude? Dodd? Ryan Dodd. Ryan Dodd Somebody got Green was... Mile first. Somebody said it was too easy. It was. It might have been a little too easy. That is like but... the easiest thing. That was the easiest question you've ever given out. Really? Try, try better next time. <laughs> wow. What do I hire Get, you for? My, what do I pay you for? You don't. He's not a slave. No. He's a mandatory volunteer. Yeah, that's what you call me. Reconnecting. My... Yeah, YouTube's having a bit of trouble today. Okay, we're back up. It's because it's 4.30. <laughs> it's because we started at 4.30. It's because all your old people went to bed on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and YouTube shut off because everybody went to bed. TikTok's just getting amped up. On TikTok, wow. everybody's wired. They're on their first line of cocaine and they're ready to go. All right, your turn. You're up. You can I don't talk. think you're allowed to say that, but okay. We'll edit it out. It's not like it's live. Do you remember Colonel D- Deering? D- Deering? Yeah, Deering? Colonel Deering. Deering. Colonel Deering from Buck Rogers. Colonel That's from Deering Instagram. From... Instagram question, do I remember Colonel Deering from Buck Rogers? Yes, sir. She was fucking hot, wasn't she? Yeah, you know she was. She was fucking delicious. What was her name? Erin Gray? Was that her name? I think it was. Yeah. She was really hot. Kind of looked like uh, that girl I like from uh, that I'm trying to impress from Boston. Looks like her. Uh, Mr. Catfish wants to know where a skateboard is. It's uh, right there. 
Where? I think my pen is skateboard. It's, it's like right catfish. Your it's skateboard literally painting right is, there. It's right you can there, see dude. It's in frame. It's right above it's my head. It's right there, dude. What do you mean? Where's your it's right, skateboard, it's catfish? Right there. God damn it! Uh, I just missed it too. My pen. I'm looking at it. I just <laughs> missed it. It's literally right there. It's right there. It's right there, catfish. Okay. Jesus Christ! I thought we gave you enough validation. All right. So what else we got? Aaron keep... Gray. Aaron Gray was. Ah, see, I got it. it was Aaron Gray? What I do told you. Think you. Of Wor Wood, of Woodford Reserve. Can't read. I'm illiterate. Oh, Woodford Reserve. They're not talking about where uh, birds and and animals are kept out in the plains over there. They're talking about the whiskey. I've had Woodford. Um, good stuff. There. Look at. I get it. There are more expensive and uh, nicer pinky out type of drinking whiskeys. I got it. But. Um, Dak Dan is my thing. I mean, um, you just stick with what you're good at, right? I smoke Isla Del Sol cigars. I ride a Harley. I drink Jack Daniels. I'm sorry, I'm stuck in a rut, and I'm going to be that way. What did DJ say today? Then that's the hill you're going to die on. All right, well, then I'm going to die on that hill. I'm okay. not regretting it. Okay. Um, real quick. Yeah. The top gifter at the end of the live stream gets a Gen X Talks merch box. A shoe box full of shit. No, merch box full of cool stuff. That says Genix talks on it. Full of broken wrenches they won't warranty. No, that is incorrect. You know, there was a guy, one of you guys asked me if Craftsman or Snap-on was better, and we had a lengthy answer. Craftsman tools or Snap-on tools. I should have summed it up with one simple sentence. How often does the Craftsman tool truck come to your job site to help you out with your tools? All right, now I'm done talking about that. So there you go. Any more questions, or am I just supposed to ramble? Oh, yeah, I got questions. Pops is always in the garage. Is he an engineer or running a construction company? <laughs> maybe maybe Gen, Zx, maybe Gen X dad's always in the garage just to get away from Gen Z kid and Gen X mom. You know, one of those wives that's always... Also, have you have you not seen the video where he declared this holy ground? Yes. Every man's garage is holy ground. You don't enter unless you're invited, and very few are invited. I will be honest, not every. Not every person. Some people got some weird garages, okay? That are definitely not holy. Maybe those are even more sacred. You don't know. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Back to what he was saying. I got a cool order of pink sticky notes. <laughs> uh, how old are both of you? Hold on. Combined? Yeah, so, so I'm, 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 my birthday's coming up, so you want yeah. me to like, calculate that? Cal in? Add the birthday in. Okay, Mine's so too far away. So. 69. We are Nice. We are both 69. Since you asked how, yes. how we both are. Yes. We are both combined 69. Good question. That is interesting. That's, a, that's an interesting question. A good, good way to put that. How old are we? Uh, what kind of Harley do you have? It's blue. What? Pacific blue. And what model is it? It is a soft tail. A heritage soft tail. Which they call it a soft tail. And the first time that Gen X mom rode 150 miles with me, she got off complaining. She goes... Why the fuck do they call this thing a soft tail? It most certainly is not. Is that a snap-on box behind you? <laughs> oh, on, shit! Hold on, hold on, guys. No. No, it's This not. is the snap-on box right here. This is a really fucking cool box with a stainless top. The one behind me is an old Matco box. It's a three-bay. It's an old three-bay from the late 80s. It's a Matco hutch on top. And the big black one over there that you can't see... Is a Cornwell, and, and this, this one, one is Cobalt from, from Lowe's. Yeah, Cobalt. Um, I'm out of pink. See, this is unheard of right now. Yeah, being out, of out, of, out of questions. Notes. This is crazy huge. You know, this is absolutely insane. Um, well, I had yeah. What is it? Holy ground or ground zero? Is is the garage holy ground or, or ground, ground zero? zero? Uh, that's an easy question to answer. Right now, it is holy ground, but when shit hits the fan. I promise this motherfucker is going to be ground zero. Well, this is where the investigation and the spiral detectives are going to start is right fucking here. Well, I mean, when isn't it ground zero for Gen X Talks? First video was in the garage. No. It is ground zero for Gen X Talks. That's not what he means. They're not talking about your stupid fucking irritating videos. This is not what anybody's asking about. Dad still have the chop saw you bought him? The miter saw? Heck yeah, it's right there. It's working great. It has worked beautifully. Miscut? No, nope. there's a laser pointer on it. I'm you not use fucking it in the talking dark? about there's your miter saw. I'm not... Who would use a fucking miter saw in the dark? Late nights, you never know. <laughs> so I got an email I got to address real quick too. Uh, people, you guys always, guys always email me and ask questions about politics and 
did Trump win the election? Is he in the White House? You know, uh, you asked me about uh, Nancy Pelosi. You asked me about world peace and the Russians and all this other shit. You know why you guys asked? Because clearly I fucking know. Clearly, I am the voice of reason from a garage in Bakersfield, California. So I, I'm not upset with the questions. But sometimes you guys ask stuff, and this one's the one I was really pegging on here. Somebody asked me how I feel about abortion. I want to sum it up in one sentence. If it's not a baby, you're not fucking pregnant. So pick. Moving on. So, um, somebody said, how's your hand? Because <laughs> I went I went to throw the paper away, and I hit my hand on this, and it hurt so bad. I was like... <laughs> I don't know what you're wincing about over there. <laughs> uh, oh, what the heck? Hey, is that? So much Patrick Bahey. Ten Hello. bucks for shit and giggles. Now, only one. Only <laughs> well, one. Well, $5 for your shit, $10 for my giggles. $5 for my giggles. Okay. Is Gen Z Kid doing an Amazon wish list for his birthday? Yes. Well, kind of, yeah. When's your birthday? October 23rd. It's a Saturday. Um, it's a Saturday. There is an Amazon wish list. If you go to his webpage, there's a link, a picture of Amazon, and a link takes you to it. It's stuff that he's trying to get. A couple things for his birthday. He's got a basketball on there. Um, he's got some bubble gum on there and some other shit. But there's and also there's some, stuff. There's too. also stuff that he's trying to get for, for Gen X Talks yeah. to promote what he's doing and get a little better equipment. Get a, some stuff that's missing, some cables and shit. Mm -hmm. It's just a wish list. You don't got to go buy him anything. But if you wanted to help out, that's where you'd go for him. I give him a ton of stuff. Um, but I just don't, I can't contribute everything he needs and everything he wants. I do my part, but the rest, he's got to, he's got to work for it. He's got to earn it here with you guys, or he's got to go out and hustle up and get a side hustle going. So he's doing it, but yes, there's an Amazon wish list on his, on his website that has a few things on it that he's looking for. Hold on, new things have come to light. So. <laughs> new things have come to yeah. light. Why did Gen X mom ask when my birthday is instead of just telling me to say my birthday? I know why. Do you not know, mom? Did you not know? She knows. Why? But she's trying to guide you through the process of putting on a good show. In other uh, words, hey, tell them when your birthday is, dipshit. But she won't say it like that. She's got to be a mom. Oh, when is your birthday, son? Uh, hey, fucking say some shit to the camera. So, this is a very generic question, you know. I don't know why they asked it. Uh, how? how they, wait, how did they get to the Amazon wish list? That's you. He should... Oh, yeah, don't tell him. What do you, why don't you just tell him how to get there? I don't know how to get there. Did you not just hear what I fucking said? It's in a link on the kid's website. Hey, it's on the website. Gen X Talk. Hold on, you guys might not have got the pattern. GenXTalks.com, like everything else. I swear else. to fucking God. You might, this I will need, be gone by the end of the fucking camera, live stream. Hold on. I'm waiting for you to take it off camera so I can... Uh, Do you guys get this up. shit? Do you understand? You know, I don't really I feel like getting through? banned. You got it now? Is it off camera? It's a bunch of fucking bullshit is, is what it camera? is. Yeah, you're off camera now. Okay, Do what you cool, want. thanks. You're off camera. Nobody gives a shit. Right. Uh, how old are each of you? I'm turning 16, October 23rd. It's like he you're is, fucking uh, nine years old all over again. It really is. He's a, a day closer to 70. You should hear the shit he bitches about with me. He bitches about when I pause a movie. Oh my god. Seriously. I swear. We get into a fucking fight watch. over that shit. So, look. He watches the movie. We pause for like 10 seconds as he checks his phone. Because I'm not allowed to be on my phone during the movie, but he is. So, he pauses to check his phone. And then he plays the movie. And then he backs it up once. Like 10 seconds. If he Which backs it up, if he backs good, it up right? 10 seconds, yeah, it's good. It's like I'm getting back into the flow of the movie. Back right. flow of the scene. Right. But sometimes, especially when he's drinking, he just... I do not do that. I do not fucking okay, do that. Okay, we're restarting the movie. Oh, that's funny. Why are the credits rolling? He just backs it up like five minutes. It's not true. I don't yes. back it up that far. Yes, it is I just true. go back enough so we can get the essence and the flow of what's going on. Also, thank you to Callie Sapphire for sending some gifts. And then, for the next couple seconds, it's only like two seconds, i got to hear dipshit here yell about, I've already seen this part, I've already seen this yeah. part, I've already seen this part, I've already seen this part. Fuck, there's nothing wrong with how I control the movies. No, you back it up like like five minutes after we pause for ten seconds. All right. I have not, I didn't go to bed and wake up the next morning thinking, where am I in the movie? No, I'm right there. I didn't move. Okay, you got your version and I got the truth. That's it. 
That is not bullshit. You yes, it is. Can't call the bullshit bell. I hate the bullshit bell. Even though you use it more than me. Well, yeah, I like that it's there to use it, but I really hate it. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> kind of. So how do you... So wait. Yeah. Why Why? Why should they send gifts? Who's... If the person who sends the most gifts, so we can see at the end of the live stream... Are you going to do this What again? do they get? A shoebox full of shit that I don't want in my okay. garage. Obviously, you're not... You don't I got a bunch of tiki torch torches over there that are all broken and just no. have the bottles. You're getting all those in You get Gen box. X Talks merch. You get a merch box. Shit. Okay? Just so you guys know, you get a merch box. Um... I say, oh, oh, I got a new shipment. Hold we, on. we do need oh. to pause for this one. Oh, okay. Peter Garcia, who's been very generous tonight. Peter Garcia paid Gen X Mom, I think it's through Venmo, paid Gen X Mom 10 bucks for putting up with both of your shit. She's the real hero. Yes! She is the real hero. Thank Peter you. Garcia. You know what? I'm good enough to admit that, that she is the real hero. Okay. She's not. Hey, excuse She's not. Me? Peter, you gave $10 to the one woman the one team member of Gen X Talks, it doesn't matter at all, okay? <gasps> she could leave right now, wow. and everything would be okay. But you give it to the wrong person. Yeah, it'd be okay. It wouldn't be great <laughs> like it is now. It'd be, it'd be, I guess it'd be okay. I um, think it's badass that somebody actually sent Gen X some, mom 10 bucks. Somebody said yeah. that you died. Somebody thought you died. Yeah. Um, we go through this a lot, not as much anymore. As you might have noticed, I'm not dead. Um, there is a great... He is alive. I am. There's a great father and son duo called Tex and John. Um, extremely funny guys. Extremely talented. They had like 3 million followers on TikTok. A uh, big guy with a beard like me. A uh, little bigger guy, taller and stuff. Um, he did pass away. He got some complications from COVID and passed away about a month ago, I think it was now. Everybody always used to get us confused because we were a father-son duo. Um, but he did pass away, and I was very, very upset that that happened. I didn't even get to know the guy that I was trying to. We're just getting to point yeah. to make some contact. His son actually told us it was okay. He told us what happened before he announced it and told us it was okay on one of our live streams to let everybody know, our followers know and fans, because some of them crossed over. Um, but, yes, he passed away. I'm still here, and TikTok is a lesser place for not having him on here, just so yeah. you know. They're way better than us. <laughs> By a lot. We strive to be we them. We strive to be them. Yeah. So we'll always be living in their shadow, and I'm totally okay with that. Is Gen X Dad a prepper? <laughs> Do you even know what that means? No. Is Gen X Dad a prepper? Nope. Nope. Do I prepare for the zombie apocalypse that we all know is coming? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. We I... got, hold on, right here, we have like... What is that? How, many, how much food is in there? Years of food. Yeah, we have years of adult servings of okay. food. Listen. This is just crazy. Yeah, we do have, we are prepared for the zombie apocalypse. I'm ready. But I want to tell you what happened in California, well, in, in this, in Kern County a couple months back. Um, it was kind of funny. Uh, Mom was out of town and sisters were out of town. It was just the kid and I, and a semi or something hit a main transformer substation and took out everyone's power for like a day and a half. So my entire neighborhood was black, it was dark, and everybody had to throw away all the food in their, in their fridges and their freezers, except for one house. One house had their lights on. One house got to keep their shit. One house had some video games going on. Woo! That was us, because Gen Z Kid and I pulled out the generator, fired it up, plugged it in, ran our shit, and we were good. That whole, like, 18 hours that everyone was dying. It was, 100, it was 100 degrees at midnight. And everybody in the neighborhood, everyone in the street fucking lost their shit. I just sat out in a chair with my pistol like, hey, my lights are on. Don't fucking come here. You're not a moth. This is not a flame. Uh, you didn't prepare. Get the fuck out. This so is a, I prepare a little this bit. from Instagram. And this is a really funny joke. Uh, what was the name of the space movie in 1992? And when you look that up, because I'm a 15-year-old. Yeah, these jokes, these are like all ours. What okay? was the question? What was the name of the space movie in 1992? Okay. And <laughs> I am not allowed to say that on camera. I will divulge that information to you after the live stream. But if, if you want to look that up, don't say it in our comments. <laughs> it's really funny, though. Just so you guys know. Can I see the answer, or is the answer not on there? Oh, I'll write down the answer. Hold on. Hey, st sit tight. Hold on Calm one down. second. We'll be right back.
Is this... That's not a real fucking movie. That is. That, that is, is a real not movie. a real movie. That is a real movie. Gay <laughs> N-word from outer space or in, in outer space? <laughs> that is not a real movie. Bullshit. That is a real movie. True story. Hey, Peter Garcia again. $10 Gen X mom putting up with both your shit. Wait, I said that already. Yeah. <laughs> Does that ten more dollars I owe because or am I going to charge Peter? Peter, send ten more because I said it twice, buddy. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I got it. Nope. 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 Oh, nope. 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 Now it's competition time. Okay, I need two sticky notes. Let me, so let me explain. Do you want to use these? No. Okay. Look, I want to explain this to you. Here's you got to do this once a live stream, just so you know. This is a competition between Generation X and Generation Z. And what this is, I don't even know how it started, but we took our took a crumpled up piece of paper, we threw it at the TikTok camera, okay? Whoever got closest to hitting the lens got a point. The reason it was so fucking retarded and funny was because he would sit here and go, all right, I gotta warm up, gotta become one with the universe, gotta check my shot, check my shot, check my shoes, get my shirt, get my hat, get my stuff, everybody around me okay, gotta pray, gotta do. I'm like, just fucking shoot it. Gen X just takes a shot and fucking whips it. We shoot from the hip. That's what we do. We don't have all those Giannis, however you say his name. Giannis. Ya- what? Giannis. Yeah. Antetokounmpo. ABC. He's got every letter in his last name. Giannis ABC takes like 45 seconds to shoot a fucking free throw in the NBA. This kid takes forever to shoot. And he, we're just shooting a piece of That's paper. Why? So okay. we're at 10 to 4? No. Yeah. yeah, we are. 10 to 4. And we shoot at the TikTok camera. Do you want to shoot at a different camera? Hold on, no, 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 no. We're doing this. So. What? Um, let's do. You want to inst- shoot at each one? Two out of three? Let's do Instagram this time. Instagram. Yeah, we're going to do Instagram. Okay, so Your that favorite. means His favorite Instagram, you have to watch through your camera. you got to watch because you guys will see the paper coming. you guys got to tell us if who's closer. Only you're going to know. All right? It's 10 to 4 right now. You get to shoot first. I thought you shoot first. Just shoot. I respect my elders, especially people over 55. Not over 55. Oh, my bad. Over 60. <laughs> Slap your mama in the mouth. All right, so Gen X is shooting first, 10 to 4. Gen X is winning 10 to 4. That's right. We're winning. You know we're going to win. I'm going to win this one too. So I'm going to set my paper right here. I'm going to take my drink. I'm going to grab it and shoot. I'm not going to prep. I don't sit there and have to align the planets before I can shoot a fucking paper at a camera. Now, an hour later, when you guys wake up, he'll still be prepping to shoot. Because that's what his generation does. He's going to get out a protractor and a compass. He's going to get a level. I'm actually going to make a catapult. You're going to make a catapult. Popsicle. Oh, wait, what do you call those? They're not catapults. They're trebuchets. Trebu- trebuchets are the sling. Catapults are fucking the... fucking got lectured by him in a video game that it wasn't a catapult. It was a... Trebuchet. Trebuchet. The Whatever. catapult goes tong with like a little cup. All right. The trebuchet is like they, a little They sling. both fucking catapult things the other way. But a trebuchet is better. You guys see why I drink? You fucking get it now? You see what this shit see, is? This guy said slingshot. No, slingshot is this. Trebuchet is. Whew. Okay? Gosh, guys. Get with the program. Oh. Fuck! I can't see it. Right there! Right there, three cameras on that iPhone. I was on the middle one, just a touch off. You're up, baby. Go. You're up. Come on now. Come on now, dog. Yeah, that's right. Give your best shot. You goofy, three-eyed white men can't jump. Oh, you that was the right camera. over the camera. You that missed. was right over it. It was right over it. All I right. was closer because it went missed. right over the camera. Fucking missed the whole camera. Yeah, with the side. Go ahead. Of the who won it? Right who won? Over. Who won? Instagram. You guys are biased. Instagram people. I know. Who won? Bad I know. Ones. You guys are so lame. I went right over the camera. You, you missed If you had every... this angle, if you had this angle, oh, sure, you guys professor. would be Somebody different. Somebody said they ducked. Guys, yeah, yeah, you mine. see, I, I was mine. so close. Dad I mine. was so close. People had to duck when they saw that paper coming. No. Exactly. Dad. No. I think we have to go dad. with it. I think it's a tie dad. game. So, uh, dad, no, this is all dad, 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 dad. They're biased. One ge- <laughs> They're biased. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Trump, you lost. No, so they're biased. They're biased. Hey, accept the election results, my friend, and sit down. That's right. It is now 11 to 4. Gen X walking away with it, baby. Walking away with it. 
We've been on 55 minutes. Oh, good for us. Uh, I think we need to call it a bit. It's total BS. Somebody dropped their phone when Dad hit the camera. You see that? You said when Dad, you guys didn't hear it, it Jen X mom, when Dad hit the camera, somebody dropped their phone. That's how fucking on target it was. Like a laser, baby. Human laser. Lots of first timers on, uh, on TikTok. All right, first timers on TikTok, welcome. We're glad to have you. So just so you know, this will be all broadcast on YouTube. We'll replay the whole fucking thing. You guys can go watch it and put yourself to see. You want to waste an hour and a half of your time? No, yeah, we're, we're the way to do it. True. Which brings me to sunny point number two. This is kind of serious, but it's kind of important. We want to let you guys know something. Um, all over the world, there's people that have died trying to achieve their dreams. <clears throat> Mount Everest. Climbing Mount Everest is yeah. one. Okay? Going out in the desert. Hiking Trying to is swim another across one. the ocean. Swimming in the ocean. Boating in the ocean. Yeah. Astronauts reaching for the moon have died. There, Many people have died trying to achieve their dreams. So what my advice to you is, is don't do that. Do not go and go after your dreams. That's dangerous. You could die doing it. Yeah. What is safe? Watching our live stream. Watching our live stream. No one has died watching this live stream. Not one person. Fact. Ever. So you know when you're here, you're safe. You just set your dreams aside. You lower your expectations. Grab something to drink. Sit here with us. It's way better than dying. You're welcome, okay. America. So And Denmark. Oh, yeah, and Denmark. <laughs> Real quick, since yeah. we're closing the live stream off, right? Closing the live stream off. So we're going to close TikTok first. And then we're going to save the winner of the basket on Instagram and YouTube because... Why? Why not? They should because know. what oh, if know. they won? What? We have, we have to end the live stream to figure out who won the gift contest. Okay, well you didn't explain it that way. Now it's like okay. you're all... Everybody who gifted on TikTok, fuck you, is what it no. sounds like. Okay, so when we end the live stream, it tells us our top gifters. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to tell who won the top gift. Whoever the top gifter was, we're going to say it to the Instagram and YouTube live streams. So, so you're going to tell the two people that don't give a shit yeah. who won on TikTok. Yeah, so if you want to know if you won, you, you go over to YouTube. Or next week. Or next no, week. No, Sunday. Or Sunday. Or just right Sunday, after we'll try to email or DM you. Sunday, we'll start off our, our, our live stream with telling you who won. We'll be much better about that. Okay, hey, can so. I, can we, before we quit, can I do one more trivia question? I've only done one. Yeah. Go yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, get your emails out. Open your emails. This is for another prize. Come on. I know, I know you late millennials born in the late 90s, uh, and I know, Gen Z, I know you're at a disadvantage because you guys have to Google it. You have to ask Siri. you got to ask Alexa from across the room. You're at a disadvantage because Gen Xers are just hovering. They're not going to know. Boom. They're done. They're starting to take their first drink while you guys are still waiting for Google to give you one of 84 million replies. All right, here we go. Trivia. Well, you, you said the last one sucked. I'm trying to find a good one. Well, you don't have good ones? I'm locating among many choices. There are not many choices. There's five. Wow. That's a good question. That's a hard question. Then do the good question. <laughs> you just said the last one was too easy. Yeah. You don't want to make it too hard. There's a nice gray area that we like oh, to stay in between, God. okay? We live in the gray area? All right. Yeah. All right, look it. Below gonna... the 50 feet of crap. <laughs> we live where Officer Smith... We live above him, yeah. Oh, we live he's, above Officer he's, Smith. He's down here. We're okay, right here. all right. This is to do with Gen X terminology, all right? You guys played uh, video games. Not at home. No, no. Not Nintendo. Not Sega. Let's go back further. Let's go back to Chuck E. Cheese. Let's go back to upright video games in 7-Eleven on your way home from school when you took your lunch money and didn't buy lunch so you could pump quarters into machines on your way home. That video game, okay? We're talking about upright arcade video games. And there was terminology when I was a kid. The common terminology that every Gen Xer knows. You, you don't got to Google it and you don't got to read three paragraphs. You just know. If you're Gen X, you just fucking know. There was a video game terminology, and I'm going to give you what it is, and you are going to email the answer. What the fuck am I talking about? What is the definition of the terminology I'm giving you? All right? Got your emails ready? Mm -hmm. Here it goes. All right. When I was a kid playing a video game, 
I would come to my buddies and go, hey, I turned that game over. I was playing Asteroids, turned it over. Buzz I turned in. over Asteroids. Trebek. What does turning over mean? Buzz me in, What Trebek. is terminal? You, it isn't tipping the game over. Hey, I know what it is. Hey, I'm hitting the buzzer. What buzzers. does turning over a video game mean? Gen X terminology. Come on. Bring it. Hit me. Anybody? Come on. Yeah, Come right on. here. Gen you don't count. Wow. You, you don't count now. You count even less wow. during trivia. Hold on. High score? Hold on. High score is not correct, but it's close. Hey. Hey, me in the back. You can't punch the button. Get it over here. Hey. High score is not a... I turned over asteroids. I turned over Pac-Man. I turned over Missile Command. Top yeah. score and... Oh, shoot. They're all coming in. Not top score. Top, top score and made it reset. There you score. go. You made it reset. Who said reset? The score... Jared Brennan. Jared Brennan. That's right. When you were a kid and you played a game, a video game, went to a certain number and the number started over at zero again. They, did, they, they didn't think we'd ever get to the top number. 1 million, 100 million, 900 million. But if you got to it, the computer would reset. You turned over the scoreboard. You actually did so fucking well, you turned the game over. Very difficult to do. Very few achieved it on any game. But when you turned over a game, you made the score go all the way back to zero and you kept playing. That's right. Uh, turned it over. Thank you, Rhino, for the gold mine. Thank you, No Sleep, and thank you, Ann. Never. Since now we're. Shoebox. Okay. Right. Right. Did you do all the pink things? Oh, uh, uh, we got a few more questions. We'll blow through these it. real quick. Once we're done with these. Then okay. we gotta go. How do I deal with a 12 year old who talks back? How do I deal with a 12 year old who talks back? Be careful what you say here. We don't want to get banned. Yeah, I know. We got banned every time. Um, that's a serious question. Uh, children like discipline and structure. They like love and organization. They don't want to live in a haphazard house where the only time they get come down on is when they act out. You got to be in their face all the time, even in the good times. If you have a real specific question about that and you want the dumbest mechanic in the middle of the dumbest desert to answer it, give me an email and I will sit with you. We'll, we'll talk on the phone if you want. I don't care. I got time. Uh, Gen X Dad at Gen X Talks. That's, that's my personal email, genxdad at genxtalks.com. Hey, you're welcome. Genxdad at Gen Just send me an email. That's for anybody. You guys all something got something personal you want to ask? Send it out. I don't mind. You really want to, I'll give you my cell phone. We'll fucking talk about it. I don't care. I got nothing else going on. Um, Obviously, I can't raise this kid, right? So what the fuck is my opinion worth? I'd say I'm okay. Because <laughs> of mom. <laughs> <laughs> How many birdhouses were made? That fucking miter saw can't make... Can, Zero birdhouses. Hasn't made a Not birdhouse fucking yet. One. Yeah. We've cut other things. Because it can't. It can make a birdhouse. Yeah, he's talking about the miter saw video. Scroll back a long time. Look at the miter saw video on his fucking TikTok. Where do you access the merch? Uh, go to genxtalks.com. You know, there is a trend. The Instagram's genxtalks. The YouTube is genxtalks. The Venmo is genxtalks. Hey, I think you might see Right at the top of genxtalks.com, there's a button that says shop. Yeah. Takes you right to and everything cool. And discount code FFA for 10% off. Yeah, and Not sponsored. there are new, brand new, Gen X Talks asses. Oh, yeah. You got to go look them up. They're, they're a good gift to tell somebody to fuck off. You, you got to order some of those. Order a bunch of them. They're fucking yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, now that we're out of uh, stuff. All the proceeds for Gen X Talks merch goes to his FFA trip. Go to tell him what you're doing one last time. I'm going to National, Con F National FFA Convention. You're Super trying cool. to. Yeah, I'm trying to. I just need enough money to get there. There's a lot. It costs a lot of money. It's in Indianapolis, and it should be called International, but because people from Japan go there. So it's just like Comic Con, but for FFA members. There's a ton of booths where you can ask like top notch farmers from like the Big Grimway. All those people get go there yeah. to teach us leadership skills about farming. We all have like conventions, meetups, where we have like seminars where we talk about stuff, you know? That's off the hip, baby. He'd That's like to go. It. I would like to go. And it's um, expensive. And so he's cashing in aluminum cans. He's mowing lawns. He's doing stuff. It? When is it? When are you uh, going? Going October 27th to the 30th. Holy sure. shit. That's close. Yeah, we're close. Wow. So now that we're shutting down the live stream. So 
the top gifter of the live stream does get a Gen X Talks merch box. Like a box full of our merch, whatever I throw in there. No, it gets a shoe box full of shit I don't want in my garage anymore. If you want that, you can have that too. Um, <laughs> so this is the end. This is where you can like pull ahead. This is, where, this is the final stretch where the horses <laughs> are going like this, okay? We don't know who's in the lead right now. All right, go shoot we'll everything off and I'll finish it out for you. Anyway, the kid is going. There's Cash App and PayPal. The end of this and, month. They want to know what year. This month. Oh, he's going right now. He's going like in two weeks or three weeks. But anyway... Um, the Gen X Talks is on Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. He's got them all set up the same. If you want to buy some merchandise, it all goes towards him. We're helping him out as much as we can as middle class parents struggling in the Biden economy. But when gas is $14 a gallon, what the fuck are we all going to do? Anyway, that's it. It's my last drink. Is anybody drinking with me the last drink? Saying goodbye, saying goodnight. That was another trivia question, but we'll save it for next time. Anyway, thanks you guys for hanging out and wasting an hour of your time with an hour of my time. We did it all for Gen Z Kid because that's why we're here. Thanks again. I'm out. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Catch you guys all on the flip side.